Hello Year One and welcome to your science learning for this week. So your mission objective, your learning, is to understand, we are learning to understand why materials are chosen for specific tasks. So we're looking at materials and why are they used for, why they're made out of that, that material, what are they used for and why, why is it best for that job. So you have some rocket words there, which you're going to be using, hopefully you have a better understanding at the end, is bridge, beam, bridge, material, tower, and triangle. Okay. And your skill you're going to use, your scientific skill, is using ideas to suggest answers to questions. So there's a little video here. Why do racing cars use tyres made of rubber? Why do racing cars use tyres made of rubber? Have a little think, pause if you need to, discuss with someone. So hopefully you've discussed that they've got a special type of tread which gives them grip, especially for these sorts of racing cars. They have special tread which helps them to grip, but also um, it's there, it helps with the speed as well. So your rocket words here are bridge, which is a structure carrying a path or road over a river, stream or canyon. A beam bridge is a simple beam built between two points. Material is the matter from which a thing is or can be made, so what it's made of, which we've spoken a lot about. A tower is a standalone structure which can be attached to a larger building. And a triangle is a shape that is made up of three sides, so three sides, three corners. So, here, why are bridges useful? Okay, have a little think. So, it is, again, pause if you need to. They allow people to travel over rivers, valleys, and um, more easily. So like the story of the Billy Goat's Gruff, okay, the bridge goes from one side to the other to cross the stream. So it might take animals, it can be for cars, trains, goods, or any or all of those. So all sorts of bridges that are from around the world, and some are thousands of years old. So here you can see there's a bridge being created. So I, of where there's a stream, so he can cross there. He's used something to create, a, so he's created a bridge to help get from one side to the other. So a, this is a simple bridge. Can you see what this is made of? So it is wood or from a falling tree, a log of wood. And so he can get from one side to the other. So some bridges are small, some bridges are big, huge, and they're, with, with bridges, okay, they might need to carry heavy objects. So on the one previously, you can see it's to carry the man just himself across there. But on bigger bridges like this, it might be cars and vehicles. But there are many different ways that bridges are made, depending on what they need to do, what their job is, or what they what's traveling across. So there are different types of bridges. This particular bridge is a beam bridge. And this beam bridge has towers that are all the same height, and then they've got almost a board which goes across all of the towers. And this has created a road, so this carries cars. Can you see the towers here? So they're the towers, and then you've got this that goes all the way across here to carry vehicles. So discuss with your partner why you think cardboard is not a very good material, or talk to somebody at home or have a think or write your ideas down. So why is cardboard not a good material to carry um to create it for a bridge. Have a think. Pause here. So hopefully you would have thought about with cardboard, it's not very waterproof. So if it gets wet, it would be really soggy. It will tear or someone would fall through it. Um, so it's not very strong. It's not very hard. Um, so you wouldn't be able to carry a car over there. You wouldn't be able to um, lorries, anything like that, or even people. If that was going across that stream that you saw with the ice and the snow, it, it would bend and you would fall in. So, what would a bridge builder have to think about when designing a bridge? Again, pause if you need to think. So, you have to think about how long the bridge needs to be, how far, so from one side to the other side of the road, the river, or whatever it's crossing. Um, how would you like to run, so how would you like, what would you like to travel over the bridge? So, is it going to be people? Is it going to be vehicles? Is it going to be lorries, animals? Because that depends on the width and how strong it needs to be. Okay. And also, it's really, really important here, do you, if you've run out of bridge, what would happen to your cars and your people when they get to the end of across that river or the valley? So think about what is going to travel over the bridge. Like I said, so is it cars, pedestrians, so people, heavy lorries or trains? 
So how would that affect the design? Pause if you need to have a think. How would that affect what you use or how you build that bridge? So this is another type of bridge. It's called a truss, a truss bridge, which is stronger than the beam bridge because of how, it, how it's built and, and put together. So this is because the weight of the bridge is held up in a slightly different way. So it's got a slightly different shape which I will explain further why that is. So here, you're closer up. It's easier to hold up something. Is it easier if something's heavy to hold it up with one hand, like this, or two hands? And I want you to find an object and see if you can do that, test it out, what was more comfortable. Hopefully you think two hands. So this is what a, a truss bridge does. So it divides the weight so it's a bit more equal and easier to hold things. So it's built in a triangle shape, because that is a stronger shape to hold heavy things and for it to be stronger, okay? So a triangle shape is really important. So you need strong materials to make a bridge. And it needs to be able to, to cope, so it needs to be able to hold up with whatever's going over it without breaking. So here you've got the road and you've got cars going over, so that's a lot of weight, so it needs to be really strong. So think about what experiment you could carry out, which would work out the most suitable material to use to make a bridge. So you might want to use some objects at home or have a little think. You could use paper, you could use some lolly sticks, you could even use actual sticks from outside, anything like that. And have a think how you could have a go at building or creating a bridge and what to think about the triangle shape and what is more supportive, what works out to be stronger. You can maybe test and put some objects on or some of your own toys across it. Okay, so that's a little activity you might want to try out, creating your own bridge. Please share those. And we've got a little expert film, which you won't be able to hear the sound, so I'll just talk over a little bit about the comparison. So he's talking about different materials, and he's got some different objects there. So he's got some um, brooms, which obviously is made of wood, and um, which is easier to shape, and then the bristles at the bottom. So they're made of bristles because that's good to sweep up and collect all the little pieces. If you use that hot handle and try to sweep up with that large wooden handle, it wouldn't sweep up very much. It'd be really tricky to pick up those little pieces. It's also showing there that there's a hammer, which has got a certain shaped head, and it's also got the metal, it's made of metal, so it doesn't shatter, doesn't break. Okay, and the same with the axe, but with the axe, it's made of metal, so it's and it's been pointed, so it's sharp to cut through things. He's then got a bungee, what they call like a bungee rope kind of there, which is very flexible, which we'll show you. So again, that's that's why it's used, so it can be adjusted, so pulled out to fit things in, or used back around things to hold them together. So that's why it's created that way, so it's flexible. So, this next video, again, I'll talk you through. So, there's a man here who talks about a bridge that goes through um, a garden, a woodland pathway. And the woodland pathway, he talks about why they use wood. So they've created wood because they said they've reused the fallen trees. To, um, so it's all natural and it blends in the environment. And he said for people to walk through the gardens, they want it to be an, a nice environment. And so it blends in. If they would have used concrete or something else, then it wouldn't look very nice. They want it to look really natural and blend in, so they've used wood. He also talks about how... Um, with wood, the only thing is, is it's okay with water. It does absorb it a little bit, but the only thing is sometimes it has to be replaced. It's talking about replacing it because it gets wet, it gets mouldy, and it starts to rot a little bit. So they do have to replace it. So there is a poem here I'm going to read to you. I'll just go back a second. I'm going to read you this poem, and it's called Mr. Moody's Bad Day. So this is a bit of your challenge to move on to once you've finished some of your activities. So what I might do is move on and then come back to that, okay? So, um, so, you have a handout or two handouts to complete, all about materials and why they're best suited for a particular job. So, I'll talk you over to my bedroom here. So, the key points from today are materials are chosen carefully for, so they can do a certain job. So they're tested really hard to make that really, especially for things like bridges, that they are suitable for job and they're very strong. So bridges need to be strong, really hard and durable to make sure they do not work well. So look at the materials around you and decide, are they made out of a good uh, right material and are they appropriate? Are they hard, soft, strong or absorbent? So why has that material been chosen for that and is it, is it good for the job it needs to do?
So these are your two handouts. Sorry, guys. Let's see it. Just skip the back. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so you've got these two handouts here. I've got them on paper copy, but it's clear a few here, so I'll attach those for you. So you've got two different handouts. You can either choose the one over on this, the right side. So it's got the words along the bottom, so you can cross those out and add those in to support you or use them within your sentences. It asks you what material is best to draw on, which is best to make a table, and then you need to use those keywords, those words at the bottom to support you with answering that. Then you've got which material is best. So for that one, it's a step up. So if you want to challenge yourself further, it which materials are best suited to each situation and then explain your answer. Okay, so use those two handouts to support you and use the keywords as well. Um, I don't think there's anything else to put there. So key questions to think about when you're doing this is why have you chosen your selected material? How will you decide which material to use? And is there more than one material you would use? Okay, so there's some key questions to think about when you make your bridge and when you complete those handouts. And again here, use the handout, pick which material is best suited for the job. Then you've got some key, question, um, key questions here. So what is a bridge? What is the in bridge? What is the material? What is a tower? And what is a triangle? Remember, if you want to challenge yourself further, then you can have a try with the poem, Mr. Moody. So I'm going to read that to you Why it's on the screen. Terrible night week is cold stone bed. He tried to dress best, but his t shirt was stiff. He went to have breakfast and found it hard, uh, as his wet gobby spoon was made of hard. He brushed his teeth, which had a strange feel, because he's in a toothbrush made entirely of steel. He went to leave the house, but suddenly stopped. At his door, made, his door was made of bubbles, and finally he dropped. He set up the car, still feeling funny, but sank up to his knees as it was made of honey. He stood there all day in a terrible huff. I think all my things are made of the wrong stuff. So there's a bit of a silly poem for you. So I know you liked that previously. And then it's got a question along there if you want to answer it. So I'll attach those all to the sway and I'll attach those also onto the website. So enjoy those tasks of making a bridge, the poem, and also the material sheets. Okay, so really think about those questions. Why are those objects made of that material? Is it good for the job that they are doing? Thank you and enjoy.